All right, so we're back live. Uh, we're going to check out reports of looting up here at the CVS in a phone store. There's a heavy police presence. Uh, if you're just tuning in, there were reports of looting up near Beatty's Ford Road and LaSalle Street. We left where we were to come up here to check it out. There's a heavy police presence in the CVS parking lot. Uh, I'm hoping that we weren't too late. Uh, I'm at 30. The alarm is going off at the food lion. All of the riot police are coming down here. The windows are broken out on the front of the food line. I don't see any groups of protesters here. All I see are police and news. Cops are blocking this parking lot down. Uh, the only people here are police and media, but the windows on the front of the food line are broken out. These police are rolling out. I don't know where they're going. The alarm is going off at the food line, but I don't see any protesters. I don't see anybody in handcuffs. Uh, where'd Ryan go? All right, uh, the protesters are up toward the street. They're still throwing glass bottles toward the cops. Um, there doesn't seem to be anybody still here from the windows being broken. Okay, they're still coming. This There's, they're sending the cops back. Uh, They're still throwing stuff in this direction. Uh, the cops are holding this line at the food line now. Uh, I, d I don't know what was going on here. Uh, people in the comments were able to tell us to come down this way. Uh, I assume that there are people here trying to loot the food line. These police um, pushed them out. They're holding the line here. Uh, all the protesters are up toward the street. There are uh, bicycle cops blocking off the door to a small business up here. Uh, I'm gonna walk up this way and kind of see what's going on. This is, uh, this is the scene at the Food Lion. On Beatty's Ford Road, Charlotte, North Carolina. These are protests about the, uh, the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Charlotte, North Carolina. This whole situation started at the Metro Division Station of CMPD on Beatty's Ford Road. 
Um, a lot has happened. Um, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give a recap of what all went down, hopefully before my phone dies. Uh, we are gonna have full feature stories on what happened tonight in our newspaper and on our website. Right now, these cops, uh, they're holding a line right here in this parking lot. We were able to get in behind them. A lot of people have been arrested tonight. Um, a lot of tear gas, a lot of pepper balls, a lot of flashbangs, a lot of arrests. Uh, it started out very peaceful at the beginning. It got violent pretty quick. You don't need to watch your six for me, you're fine. Um, it seems that they were able to get everybody out of this parking lot. A lot of people up here. On the street, across the street. Police are holding the line to this parking lot. They're not letting anybody by. I'm still most concerned about somebody getting hit by a car. Uh, protesters have definitely scattered. A little party going on in that parking lot over there. Do you guys uh, do you guys know what went on down here? Were they were they looting the the food line or? Oh, like breaking in. Yeah. Yeah, people are just throwing rocks. Just going oh, okay. So they're just throwing rocks through the windows? Yeah. This fucking shit up. Yeah. <laughs> so they got this parking lot blo offed, blocked off. Um, not totally, because you can just walk through right here, but then they got a line of like 70 officers down that way. Uh, the protesters are very spread out. Uh, we're just on the other side of Beatty's Ford Road and LaSalle Street. That's where the reports of looting were coming from. I just heard from two people who were here that, they were, that people were just throwing rocks through the windows, being reckless. There's kids out here. I'm gonna I'm gonna meet up with my team real quick and we're gonna go scout out what's going on. Heavy, heavy police presence at this food line. Is that water? My viewers are dying for me to take a sip of water. Here, do it on camera. I think I was watching your feed a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't, so I, I finally got some water. I just need a sip. Thank you very much. All right, I got water. All right, did you guys find out anything down here? 
All those windows are broken in Food Lion. I saw that. Somebody who was here said that there were people inside. A group of them went around that corner and a couple of cops chased them. But other than that, there's the, the door to Total Wireless is broken. And what was the other business? Uh, Food Lion, wireless store, and a Chinese restaurant. Chinese restaurant. According to that guy. I think it's on the other side of those bushes. All right. So that's what happened here. Just a small instance of looting. Police came, shut this down. All these guys are rolling up here to uh, add support to this line that they're holding up to, up front. Um, as you saw, the other side that we were at started to calm down a little bit. Um, this side doesn't seem to have calmed down at all. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, right? Finally. <laughs> the alarm is still going off at the food line. Heavy, heavy, heavy police presence. Uh, we're about to be stuck on the other side of the wall again, seems like, because they're now spreading out. Why not the Chinese restaurant? So, so far this protest, this protest has spanned from the other side of the intersection at Oaklawn and Beatty's Ford Road all the way to the other side of the intersection at LaSalle Street and Beatty's Ford Road. Anybody who's walked from that end to the other knows it's a pretty long walk. Uh, CMPD was able to split the entire protest group in half in front of the police station, send half of them toward LaSalle Street, half of them toward Oaklawn. Uh, we, after that split, we started our coverage over at the LaSalle Street side. We saw multiple people get arrested. Uh, I got hit with pepper balls. Everybody got hit with pepper balls, tear gas, flashbangs. Uh, there's, as you can see, multiple cop cars coming down. Uh, You know, if, if you've been watching these videos from the beginning, you've watched the protesters run the police off. You've watched, you saw that. You watched the protesters uh, assault the police, their vehicles, slash their tires, break their windows. You've seen the officers throw tear gas, throw flashbangs, shoot pepper balls. Um, I haven't seen any instance of non-lethal going through taser or rubber bullets yet, so that's good. Um, They, they were definitely able to, they were definitely able to lessen, oh shit, <laughs> I don't want to be in front of that. They were definitely able to lessen the impact of the protesters by splitting them in half in front of the police station. Um, so now they're going to hold a line here. They're probably going to tell me to move. I'm not sure, but. Nobody's really trying to advance on this position. They all are across the street um, on the other side of those fences way back that way. But it seems that they want to hold this parking lot to keep people from looting. Um, that's not to say it'll stop people from uh, looting businesses across the street, but I guess they started here, so... It's been a, you know, it's been a hectic, hectic night. I don't know what time it is anymore. It's been six hours. It's a little six hour protest going on. There still is no indication of when it will end or be over. Um, the people that are still here and that are out in numbers are still riled up. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, I'm sitting at 31% battery, and we'll, like I said, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep recording. Well, I'm assuming that anybody who was arrested was arrested for unlawful gathering because um, they said over the loudspeakers that it was an unlawful gathering. So it makes sense that that would be the charge. I don't know what uh, kind of fine or sentence or anything that carries, but. Right now it's, right now it's calm. Um, it seems that the police on this side were also able to get a good separation between them and the protesters. There's a handful, I'd say about 20, that are still approaching the line. Um, you know, chatting back and forth with the cops, but right now it's pretty calm. Well, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't blame the guy for looking at me. I'm standing behind him. It makes sense. Well, it's unlawful because they said it was unlawful. Uh, can you get on our Facebook Messenger? Somebody wants to send a video of the windows of Food Lion being broken. Of them actively being broken? Still calm right now. There's about 55 officers right here holding the line of this parking lot where the windows were broken. I understand that it doesn't make it unlawful just because they said it, but that's what gave them the... Uh, that's what started them doing that little snake movement where they zip out and grab somebody. And like I said, e even if my phone does die... Um, in which case we'll hang out, we'll still get pictures, we'll still report on the story. If my phone does that, I'll charge it in the car, I'll get back on, I'll give you an entire recap of what happened here tonight from what I saw. Um, but it's been a lot. You know, I accidentally touched a smoke canister, burnt my three fingers, they're definitely going to blister. Uh, all three of us here, we're the Queen City Nerve team. Uh... I got hit with pepper balls. Yeah, Grant got hit with pepper balls, our photographer. Ryan, did you get hit with pepper balls? Or just near you? And then um, and then we got tear gassed. A couple of flashbangs. That'll definitely startle you, that's for sure. Watch that video. Of the windows? Yeah. Here, I'm going to show you guys a video of the windows of the food line being broken. They're already broken, I think, it looks like. Uh, there's people inside, broken windows. I'm trying not to put this guy's name in there. Hey, I remember her. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I would say are the major highlights from tonight were, first, the, the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life there was a group of about 15 officers on bicycles that were riding toward 
Oaklawn and Beatty's Ford Road where we were gathered and a person that had a snake and a knife in their mouth ran at the officers and they all 180'd and rode away. It was the most insane thing I'd ever seen in my life. I've never seen somebody chase away a group of police officers with a snake. It was ridiculous. Um, another highlight, somebody had a kitten on a skateboard. It was very cute. Um, yeah, that's that. They're bringing more officers to hold this line. I'm not, uh, Alright, so we've been asked to move over to the gas station. Understandably, I assume that they don't want anybody behind them while they're trying to hold this line. Um, they moved away from the food line. There's no line in front of the food line anymore. Um, but they are holding the line to this parking lot from the street with those protesters. Uh, I'll let these guys walk by and then... Yeah, if you want to see the kitten on the skateboard, I don't exactly know what time that happened. And I think this is my fourth live for Queen City Nerve tonight. Uh, so I don't even know which video it was. But if you go back through them, you're going to find a kitten on a skateboard for a split second. And it was really cute. Um, it was actually moments yeah. before yeah, the protesters really started advancing on the cops that were trying to walk through the crowd. Uh, right before the riot gear came on. Um, so baby kittens are a bad omen in a protest. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Emily. Uh, you shouldn't bring your animals to a protest. Um, but at first, this protest was peaceful. Um, of course, with it being a protest about an unjust murder of a, of a black man, you never know how it might turn out. So, yeah, don't bring your animals to protests. So, the police are holding this line. The one that we were behind earlier. They are holding the line with their bicycles. Um, there's a small amount of people gathered up here. I did get the snake on film a few times. So if you go back through, you'll, you'll see it a, a few times. Um, there's still groups of protesters on this side of the street. Um... But it's a very small group. I'd say there's about 30 people right here. The majority of everybody is across the street. I don't know how well you can see them. But they are, uh, they're all mostly gathered over that way. Uh, I would assume, I would assume they went that way because there was tear gas, but we weren't here, so I don't know. I wonder if I'm allowed to get out of this and text while I'm recording. I don't know. I'm going to do it anyway. Sorry about that. I guess it pauses. My bad. I just had to text somebody and tell them I was alive. All right. So they're advancing. They're just bringing it up to the edge of the parking lot. Hey, look, Allie, if you want to if you want to find a way to come up here and bring a battery pack, then by all means, I'll stay out here all night. But I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, 
Oh, you're fine. It's still pretty calm. People don't seem to be yelling. They're not fighting. Seems that there's a peaceful conversation going on there. Uh, somebody just threw something. That Jesus saves guy is an asshole. Plain and simple. Oh, you're fine. Uh, I was watching the Mine? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I decided to come on out here because I was watching yours. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it's been a very interesting evening, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Queen City Nerve. Six o'clock, yep. Yeah. No, they didn't arrest the Jesus Saves guy. I was just saying that he's an asshole. The only thing that's good about his story is he's got the lung capacity of a of a robot. I'm still not sure why most of the protesters have retreated across the street. I don't know what happened before we got here. Um, but yeah. Whatever, that's just my personal belief. We can disagree, that's fine. So you all just witnessed that. That was absolutely unnecessary. There was nothing going on here at all. I feel like the officers just didn't want people as close to them as they were. Um, Brianna, I'm gonna go at the end of this and I'm gonna give you an entire recap of what's happened since 6 p.m. But uh, that flashbang was totally unnecessary. You know, those, those, those flashbangs, they aren't as intense as, as you think. Maybe inside. 
but uh, it's just like a firework going off next to you, except you're not expecting it because there was no reason for it. I'm gonna go mess with my battery power real quick. I'm not going anywhere, but I assume the video is gonna pause. Yeah, yeah, y'all look like. If you go back through our live videos uh, from since 6 p.m. from when this started, uh, you'll be able to see every single thing that happened out here. I, I really didn't miss anything. Um, we, I, I pretty much got everything on camera. Um, from peaceful to violent, the whole progression of the entire thing. If you want to know exactly what went on out here, you don't have to watch the news um, because only a handful of them have been steadfast through this entire thing, but I've been recording this since it started, so you should be able to see every single thing that happened if you go back and look at our videos. The officers shifted back. They were up on the sidewalk. They fell back about 20 feet. <laughs> I think they realize that stuff's really starting to wind down here. They don't need as much force. Um, now there is a chance that if they back away altogether, the people that are across the street will come back over and start it up again. Yeah, so if you wanna if you wanna visually see everything that happened from the start of this protest to right now, we've got videos that we went live from. You can watch the entire thing, you can fast forward through it. I got everything. If you wanna read a play by play, my editor in chief was live tweeting it on our Twitter account the entire time. Our Twitter is at Queen City Nerve. Um, we have a photojournalist out here with us. We'll have posts on Instagram about this. Um, 
This story will be in our newspaper that comes out on Wednesday. It'll be up on our website, um, and we'll be following it indefinitely. The location is, um, we're pretty much at the intersection of LaSalle Street and Beatty's Ford Road in Northwest Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, seems like they're regrouping. They're probably trying to plan what they're going to do next. Um, there's not a lot going on here. On this side of the sidewalk, I wouldn't say that there are more than 30 people total. Uh, spread out down that way to down this way. Um, there are a handful of people at the gas station across the street. There's a good crowd of people over that way. So, <laughs> yeah, my 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 car is fine. My nose is fine. My eyes are fine. My throat's fine. I got water. We're good. Everybody's good. And like I said, if you're just tuning in, um, if my phone dies before we're done here, then I will charge it in the car and get back on live and give you a recap of everything that happened since this started. Uh, like I said, if you want to visually see everything that happened since this started, you can go back on our feed and watch the videos. Um, I got everything. Uh, if my phone doesn't die, I'll still give you that entire recap of what I saw from 6 p.m. step by step. It seems that the police are falling back. Um, we brought power packs, they died, it's fine. It's, it's gonna be over soon. There's been a lot of stuff like that going on. Argument going on here. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Be safe while you're walking, please. Be safe.
Well, they just they just retreated half of them. Yeah. These people are across the street, not protesting anymore. It's more just oh, they're hands down. partying. But I don't feel like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I don't want to miss. I mean, they're working. They're gonna be I can't do that. We're gonna have to do this all day tomorrow too. Do you see that last flashbang they threw right here? What the fuck was it that was for? Two feet in front of me. Man. Oh, really? It was right in my face. For no reason. Yeah. They didn't even rush or did nothing. Where are you folks doing this? That's the kind of stuff that's been going on all night. Braxton got arrested for failure to disperse. Thousand dollar bond. Thousand dollar bond, like it just pays a hundred. Yeah. I don't. I don't know exactly what this guy's trying to accomplish by driving like an asshole. <laughs> uh, but you know, more power to you, I guess. The police fell back another 50 feet. I would say 70% of the cops that were blocking this parking lot have uh, retreated. They're gone. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, Charlotte Uprising is working on getting Braxton out. He'll be out, no problem. Uh, there is also a protest going on in Uptown tomorrow at 1 p.m. Uh, a couple are actually scheduled. There's one at First Ward Park, Marshall Park. Social media is just at Queen City Nerve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our publisher. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. For sure. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to give a recap of everything that happened tonight from 6 p.m. Till, till when we leave either at the end of this video or I'm gonna charge it in my car and hit you up with it afterward. Queen City Nerve, we're, uh, we're the alternative newspaper in Charlotte. Interesting. Yeah, are you familiar with Creative Loafing? No. Uh, where are you from? Um, New Orleans originally, but I live in my They got the Gambit down there. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. Same thing. Same thing? Uh, long form investigative news reporting, enterprise reporting, arts and culture, music, food, um, we do real long form, both sides of the story stuff about things like this. We don't just, we don't just do a little bit and get yeah, out. Cause there's way more than one story when it comes to this shit. You know exactly. I mean? We got free papers all around the city, all throughout Mecklenburg County. Really? Yep. They're everywhere. 
Uh, all of our social media is just at Queen City Nerve. If you ever want to check it out. I was about to say, I'm going to check that shit Yeah. We've got a distribution map on our website. That shows is it where, Queen City Nerve one word? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got a distribution map on our website where you can find the papers. Um, we've got them all over the west side. He, he knows where they are over here better because he delivers this way. Well, I live in Monroe. I'm sure y'all don't have them out there. but. Uh, yeah. No, not yet. That's one of them things. I'm a fucking... I'm a follow y'all and shit. I dress like Where's Waldo. I go to different music festivals and um, promote peace, love, positivity, and happiness. That's what's up. My whole thing is I just want world peace, man. Everybody fucking fighting. Everybody's so fucking angry at everybody for no reason. Hey, man. I mean, really, for not no reason. There's definitely a reason, but... Yeah. It's just like, we gotta stop. We gotta be all all peaceful. We gotta love each other. The more love that we get, the more we share uh, it seems that the police have fallen back further. Um, Just around the, food line. the handful of the protesters that were up on the sidewalk are walking toward where they were before, so we're going to walk over there in a second. If you don't want to hear me talk, don't watch the video. I don't care. Um, do you want to walk down this way and see what's going on? Yeah. What's up, man? How are you? When we were out way in front of the crowd, walking backwards. I don't think it's unruly enough for anybody to call the National Guard in. Like, even though all these police fell back to the front of the food line, uh, the protesters are still just, you know, it's casual. Look, if you guys don't want to listen to me talk, then watch a different video. I don't, I really don't care. They know what we can do. People are, well, people are telling me to shut up. <laughs> It's like I've I've collectively had a hundred thousand views on these videos. I don't know you. You don't have to listen to it and watch another video. They building up a bar over there? Where? What? Like this liquor bottles on top of this car. Oh yeah, that is. That's what's up. All right, so everybody that was across the street is still across the street. I, I, I would have assumed that they would have come over this way as the police started to disperse, but they didn't, so. Uh, I'm down to 14%, so it's looking like we're still all right. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, maybe they were talking about that dude. He was saying some stupid stuff. Nice enough guy. Um, yeah, a lot of people out here have been trying to figure out who planned the protest because they were saying it was from people out of town. Um, obvious, honestly, it really doesn't matter because the protest is happening and has happened. Uh, of course, everybody should understand that it is dangerous for people who don't live in it. Here, watch out. There's a car behind you. It is dangerous for people who don't live in a city to incite a protest they're saying that it's not even people who don't live in the city. It's people who don't live in this neighborhood and aren't black, basically. Essentially, if you're, if you're going to organize a protest, make sure that you live where it's happening, that you believe in what's happening. 
Uh, but don't do it just to get people hurt. This is a dangerous situation. We've seen, we've seen so many people arrested. We've seen so many people hurt. I posted a detailed thing on our Twitter about from somebody about what their accusations are as far as no black organizers were involved in doing this, and they basically brought a, a fight to Babies Ford Road. Yeah, and that that's the problem. Like, you have to be very careful when going to a protest that could be organized by somebody who's got the wrong intentions, you know? There are people out here that want to see these people be brought down, and the easiest way to bring them down is to put them at a clash with the police department. So, just be careful, be smart, look into it, think about it. You know, I wouldn't recommend that people come out here, but if you want to come out in solidarity, it's happening. It'll probably be happening all night. Everything's very calm now. There's probably 20 police officers in front of the food line. The protesters are very spaced out. Um, the crowd of people across the street is still across the street. Everything seems to be winding down. Now, there will be people out here all night um, because protests don't stop. I'm going to sit down for a second. Uh, there are two protests scheduled for Uptown tomorrow. Um... One will be at Marshall Park. One will be at um, one will be at uh, First Ward Park. It's earlier in the day. Th things things tend to get a little bit more tense when the sun goes down. So the alarm is coming from the food line where the windows are broken. There are people inside of it. Uh, 13%, 13% battery. Oh, all right, I gotta stand up. <laughs> the crowd that was across the street has now made its way into this parking lot. People are advancing on this line of police officers. People are driving like maniacs. So as this crowd gets closer, we're gonna walk up and see what's going on. And yeah. Uh, you want to walk up there with me? Yeah. Yeah. You got one? Oh, in here? Uh, no, I think I got somebody bringing me a battery pack up here, but I got to go down there and see what's going on. Oh, yeah? Oh, you got to... See, I got, a, I got the cord, and we've got two dead battery packs, but we got to walk up here. Thank you. Thank you. She found me. <laughs> Did you tell Allie to come up here? 
Uh, I said if she wants to come up here and give me a battery pack that she could, but I didn't recommend it. Uh, okay, this see, this is why you don't speculate, because I was totally wrong. Bro, you dropped your cigs. No matter what your purpose is, you must leave. If you do not disperse, you may be arrested for something to other people. The punishment of this action may include use of white and white agents. Don't feel my struggle and take my mind gone. Por las autoridades del Departamento de Policía de Charlotte Mecklenburg, yo declaro esta congregación ilegal. can't stay out here all night. Pepper balls. that had retreated are back. They're in front of the CVS now, walking toward the food lion. The police are now advancing on the crowd. Haven't seen any tear gas, we haven't seen any flashbangs. They have shot pepper balls. They're coming up, making a line right here. So all of those police that retreated are now coming back to form a line in front of the food lion. As you can see, that was a pretty good bike skid, wasn't it? 
They're creating a, a box-like structure. That's how they split the protesters up in front of the uh, police station. So it seems to be an effective tactic. They make a sharp 90 degree angle, kind of just force everybody sideways. So now they're starting to advance the line, moving people back. They're holding because they can't they can't walk through that car. Oh. People are still throwing stuff. The officers are still shooting pepper balls. Oh, uh, I think it was. I think he's aiming right at me. I don't know. It's very rude. I'm not doing anything. Don't call me names. More tear gas, more f oh god, <coughs> more pepper balls, more flashbangs. More tear gas. Shit went off right underneath my foot. Fucking, fucking cocksuckers. That was nuts. Sorry, didn't mean to get all mad there for a second. Uh, I just never had anybody throw a flashbang at my feet before. So it was startling, I'm sorry, my bad. Didn't mean to yell. Why am I walking away? Because they threw a flashbang at my feet and I got mad. So I had to back up a little bit. You're all right. You can still see it. Brother, right back. Uh, I don't like, Woo! there goes a tear gas canister. You saw that. They throw... You saw them just underhand that tear gas up here. Here it is.
fuck these motherfuckers. Well, I'm not apologizing for getting flashbanged. I'm apologizing for getting mad. I'm just reporting on the news. That's all. Fuck these motherfuckers. I want to stay as long as I can, but I'm at 7%. Fuck, I just died. Uh, okay. Hi, hi, Dustin. This isn't about you. Try it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's tear gas. They threw, it, yeah, they threw a tear gas canister over there. Fuck the police! 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 All right, they're advancing on us again. They're yelling, move back, except they're like 150 feet away. But uh, I'm not getting hit with a flashbang again, so I am going to move back. There's another, there's another one. There's another one. Do that back. For the pepper balls. We're retreating. Fucking flashbang there. Fuck you! Pepper you balls. Bitch, your hands. Get the fuck. Well, that wasn't very cool. Well, that was aggressive. That was very aggressive. They did throw him back. Got video of it. I lost my business partner though and his phone's dead. So let me look around for him for a second. Oh, I see him. I see him. Matt Tyndall just bailed Braxton Winston out of jail. Now they're shooting pepper balls. There's no, there are no protesters on that side of the street, whatever, whatsoever. All the protesters are over here, even behind these cars, and they're still shooting pepper balls at people. That's not necessary. Broken glass. They're shooting pepper balls this way. I'm right in the middle of the street. I'd rather not be. I'm gonna come over there. Maybe, these people are driving like fucking maniacs out here. Alright, I'm running a 
across the street. Fuck you. Hey. I thought I lost you because your phone's dead. Say what? I thought I lost you because your phone's dead. It is dead. So they, they literally were able to get all of the protesters off of the sidewalk, across the street, behind the cars, and then still shot pepper balls. Yeah. Well, you should have seen them over here. There's, like, this guy sitting in BDY Supply. He's just, like, pop, 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 like, right by his face. Yeah, they were shooting at the sign right here, right? That too, yeah. Y'all know you can go to the police station and fuck it up right now, right? Let's go. Let's go to the mall. I'm at 5%. That's going to go to the mall. Shit, they're all going towards the mall. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If that family dollar was open, I could probably get a power bank. Think they got him in there? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. They're still shooting pepper balls. You probably can't hear it, but I can hear it. There are no protesters on their side of the street. They're literally shooting pepper balls across the street. No protesters. Well, I mean, there's us standing over here, but they're shooting that way. They're shooting across the street to get the people that were in that parking lot to leave. Not necessary. Not necessary. I think I'm still mad from them throwing that flashbang at my feet. I, I wasn't uh -huh. happy about that. Yeah. I didn't like that at all. It's the, uh, flash dance? Is that a movie? Flash dance? Footloose. Footloose. <laughs> Footloose with a flashbang. Footloose with a flashbang. No, people aren't looting. Nobody got no bottles in there? I got one. If there's one thing I don't ever want for the rest of my life, it's somebody to throw a flashbang at me ever again. <laughs> I did not like that. I did not like that at all. How many people are watching now? 3,000 currently. Yeah, there aren't a lot of news outlets left out here either. It's pretty much just us streaming the whole thing. Uh, no, it's, I'm not saying I didn't expect them to throw to not throw a flashbang at me. I just didn't appreciate it. <laughs> Do you have a power bank on you? power bank in the car. It was dead anyway. What? What? Ow! Hit me right in the arm. Fuckers.
So we're well over a hundred feet away. They're still shooting pepper balls at us. Um, you know, my eyes are getting itchy right now. My nose is getting like, now the police are advancing across the street for God knows what reason. Ugh. Uh, those sounded like gunshots. Come on. I'm, I'm pretty sure that we just heard legitimate gunshots. Not totally sure what's going on here. <clears throat> it sounded like gunshots. Um, you know, we've heard plenty of flashbangs and pepper guns being shot, but that was a very distinct sound that we hadn't heard yet. So I'm gonna go try and investigate before before my phone dies. Because y'all killing our kind. They're over there. They're still throwing tear gas. They're still shooting pepper balls. Logan, can you see anything from over there? No. All right, so they're just, essentially they're just pushing people back. For what reason? Be straight up. I can't guarantee if they were actual gunshots, but they were. It was gunfire. Race, right? Yeah. Race, straight gunfire from the police. It was distinct. This, this shit's supposed to be on fire right now. What the fuck? Right. They can't stop you from doing that. So I don't know what the fuck. Like, as long as I don't, I don't condone stealing this shit. But like that shit, this shit, this shit, like, all of this shit needs to be on fire. What the fuck is going on? The nine black on fire, bro. Huh? You are the nine black on this shit. Nine black on this shit. I mean, it, it don't matter. That shit. That shit. shit. It don't. It don't this shit. Get back on the base. All these niggas. Only thing around here is black owned. So why the fuck are we got here, man? Why are we uptown or like downtown or some shit like Tomorrow's downtown. Tomorrow's uptown. Tomorrow is today, probably. Yeah, pretty much. So the shit doesn't stop then. We just keep going. All this shit, this shit ain't gonna stop. We need shit on fire. I don't fucking understand what kind of weak ass protest is this shit. I'll start something on fire. I guarantee you all the motherfuckers will. <laughs> So what it seems like happened is they advanced across the street to chase the people out of this parking lot that were here. They threw more tear gas. Uh, we definitely heard gunshots. Um, it's the only thing that sounded like that this entire night. Um, People are starting to spread out even more now. It's getting it's getting thinner and thinner. Um, I'm sure people are tired. Yeah, I don't know what they were talking about. They were just they were just talking. 
All right, the cops are starting to retreat from that line. That was just some random dude. I don't, I don't know who that guy was. He was just talking. I, I don't agree with him at all. I don't. I don't think people should be setting stuff on fire. That's that's not going to make anything better. Why you burning these people's livelihoods? Yeah, they they were like they were like, they were like they were like oh well you know these these are owned by Muslims and stuff. It's like you don't know who owns these businesses. Just that's that's unnecessary. That's unruly. Well, the guy who said that was defending them. Oh, uh, well, e either way, it's not a conversation that needs to be had. But I'd like to know more about those gunshots. But uh, they, they definitely cleared everybody out of here. I think they were back in this apartment complex and we probably shot off in here. I'm not saying, oh, Allie's walking up. It got much calmer. I'm not gonna find you another live stream to watch. I'm gonna live stream this until I can't no more. But somebody just said they're on their, they're walking up here with a power bank for me right now. But I mean, there's there's nothing there's really nothing happening anymore. And we gotta be out of the protests all day tomorrow to make sure that we get the same coverage. Y'all gonna be at the north? Uptown. I think there's some pro there's a protest in Marshall Park and there's one in. Big ones at First Ward Park. What's that, at noon? Uh, one. One o'clock? There's one at three. I don't know if there are any later in the day. I just I'm know sure. of the one at one and three. Yeah. Well, they just started going for seven hours. They started this at six o'clock. So they just started the walk. But it started in front of the police department. The police station where it started at is probably a half mile down that way. Uh, it's 1118 Beatty's Ford Road. Uh, we're not we're not close to it anymore. We it's we're pretty far away. Uh, there are scattered protests throughout Uptown tomorrow throughout the middle of the day. You're just gonna have to find them on Facebook. Y'all killing too many of our folks, y'all know that shit. For CMPD, you, 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 you. iPhone you 11. Good battery. Fuck y'all, nigga. I'm at 2%, though, so. Fuck y'all, kids. I'm from the east side, bitch. but I'm with what? I'm walking with the west side tonight. Fuck the police. Fuck them. Fuck all y'all. Fuck you, your mama. Your mama, too. And he is too. The weak ass shit. Take the motherfuckers off and stop spraying paintball guns. We ain't turn up about this bitch. Y'all down to turn up, but y'all didn't look. Yeah, yeah. Y'all boys down to turn up. Hey, huh? 
Yeah, this is a pretty good phone. I've been I've been live streaming seven hours. My phone's not dead yet, so that's all right. Huh? Oh. Like I said before, uh, if my phone dies, I'm going to get in the car, charge it up, get back on here, and give you guys a recap of every single thing that happened between 6 p.m. and right now. Um, when, uh, what was I going to say? We'll be live again tomorrow. If you want to visually see every single thing that happened here tonight, you can go back through our feed and look at all the videos. I really didn't miss anything. I caught it from the start to the to through all the escalation to right now. Uh, we will be live at the at the um, at the protest tomorrow in Uptown as well. Right now, it's right now it's pretty calm. There are some people that want to start some stuff back up, but uh, it's it's pretty chill for the time being. Oh, that's a good point. I am going to finish this uh, feed and post it and save it so it doesn't go away. Thanks for that. Um, I'll be right back.